Hi, little sloths. Oh my gosh, guess what? I have four pizzas right here. I have Little Caesars, which by the way, I've never had in my entire life of this kind. <laughs> Papa John's Pizza, Domino's Pizza, and Pizza Hut. And I'm doing the first ever versus 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 where we do Little Caesars versus Papa John's versus Domino's versus Pizza Hut. And I got the same size, same crust type, same variety, and I'm gonna taste test them for you guys right now in a mukbang, all right? We've done lots of taste test tests here on YouTube, but we've never done a mukbang. And so I really wanna sit down and chat with you guys and eat with you guys. So let's open these up. So the first, I keep looking over here because we have the door open for natural light. Hopefully you can hear and see me. This here is the Domino's Pizza. Mmm, doesn't that look nice? Let me show you guys. There it is. Domino's Pizza. This is a large pizza, hand tossed with pepperoni and cheese. This here is the Papa John's large pizza. Oh, and you know what? I saw right away. Everyone loves the garlic sauce, you guys. The garlic sauce makes this so worthwhile. So I'm gonna show you guys up close. Kind of. Here we go. All right, that's the pizza. Hopefully it focused well for you guys. And just by looking at it, um, this one, I don't know, I think this one was cooked a little more. All right, here's something that I'm really, really excited for and I'm, I like, I can't wait to talk about it. Little Caesar, oh, it looks so different. Okay, this is the Little Caesars pizza. Little Caesars, large hand tossed with cheese and pepperoni. That one goes over there. And last but not least, we have Pizza Hut which I haven't had since Los Angeles. Oh, that looks very nice. Pizza Hut, large pepperoni, standard amount of cheese. Ta-da, all my pizzas. And I am so excited and very hungry, you guys. So let's begin. Let, you know, my eye automatically goes to this because the box is white. It makes it make me think clean. It makes me think fresh and it's Papa John's. So we're gonna scoot this out the way. This one over here, let's close this. I'll put this down over here and this one over here. Just so that we have some room. And here we go with the Papa John's pizza. I ordered all of these at the same time. I called, they called, uh, Orlin called, his brother called. So the last one to deliver was Pizza Hut. Shame on Pizza Hut. It's delicious. This one's very like doughy. But delicious. It's doughy, it's chewy, it's cheesy, it's pepperoni-y. I don't know what there is to say about it. But you know what I'm really looking for? The garlic. Comment down below right now. If the garlic is one of your favorite, it says shake. Shake up in here. I did not fart, that was the ball I'm sitting on. I'm si oh, it splattered in my eye. Wow, I'm sitting, by the way. Oh my gosh. So this is the garlic dipping sauce. There you go. It's free with the pizza. And that alone is enough to make me want to eat this. But it might mess up my taste buds, so. Let's try the Little Caesars. Oh. Little Caesars, here it is. And Little Caesars is the, I don't want to say like discount pizza, but it's the pizza that is a third of the price compared to, well, I'm going to show you the receipts. Oh, it's greasier. I got more grease flavor. Hopefully you don't hear the car. You probably can't hear the cars outside. I need it for the door, for the natural light. There's motorcycles and everything. Welcome to Florida. I'm in Florida. This is good. Mm. Now let me compare it to this again. Mm. 
It's just like a kid's dream, right? Mmm. <laughs> this is doughier and chewier. This one's like flatter, like, you know, um... Excuse me, I have a napkin down here. You know when you go to Giant or Whole Foods and you go to the freezer section of the grocery store and they have all the pre-made pizzas that are frozen, obviously. All of those pizzas that are frozen and yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's very flat and kind of like pre-made. Whereas this, I can tell it's very like tossed. I don't, I mean, I'm, I, I'm guessing they toss their own dough at Little Caesars, but it tastes flat. Not the flavor, I mean the texture is flat. The pizza itself, like if I hold them up and look at them, this one, you can see the pepperoni and all the ridges of the cheese flying up. Whereas this one is just like a piece of paper. A greasy, delicious piece of paper. All right. How about this? I'm just gonna scoop this one down. Put Domino's over here. This is Papa John's, right? What is this? Papa John's Domino's Pizza Hut. Let's have Pizza Hut. I'm really curious about this. Because this is the one that gave me trouble on the phone and the last one to arrive. So this is the Pizza Hut pizza. Pepperoni, large. Mm. That's not a fart, that's the ball. Listen. I'm on an exercise ball because the chairs, it would make my face like up to here. So I have to kind of scoop down for you guys. Okay. I remember Pizza Hut had a very distinct sauce flavor. Mmm. 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 The sauce is very good. Yeah, I remember that about Pizza Hut. Growing up as a child, Pizza Hut was the closest pizza joint, pizza, not joint, pizza restaurant near our house. And it's the one we went to the most often just because it was the closest. <laughs> and um, I grew up tasting that. Now, let's have Domino's. All right. This looks really, out of all the pizzas, the Domino's looks the, like it's not flat. Like Little Caesars is the piece of paper. This is like sandpaper. This is an arts and crafts. This is a building. It's just like, very hand tossed. I mean, look at these pepperonis. I'm gonna show you this way. Maybe it's maybe it's gonna focus. Maybe it's not. All right. So. Hmm. Hmm. I want to compare Domino's and Pizza Hut for you right now. See, I wouldn't describe Pizza Hut as sweet, per se, but there's something about this sauce. Pizza Hut sauce is very nice. How many of you agree? Whereas Domino's, let me try a whole separate piece. An entirely different separate piece. Yeah, this is more like salty, one-dimensional. Whereas Pizza Hut, mm. there's something very nice about Pizza Hut sauce. Okay, I'm gonna compare Little Caesars again. So you guys, my receipts. That was the ball, not me. Oh, here they are. Okay, so. What is this one? Papa John's, which is the first one. Papa John's was $12.98. Excuse me. Pizza Hut, I'm so sorry, was $18. Wow. Whereas Little Caesars was $5. Exactly $5. There's a sales tax of 35 cents 
This is a $5 business. This is three times as much. So I can't wait to compare the Little Caesars to the Pizza Hut. The least expensive to the most expensive. What is this one? Domino's, $15.92. $13.49. The sale, delivery, you have to be kidding me. They, okay, so I tipped the delivery guy, right? $3, but they already put a $350 delivery charge in there. Oh, see, I need to look at the, maybe some places charge and some don't. Okay, so Pizza Hut, they charge for delivery and their pizza's already expensive to begin with. So, but the, I'm just gonna go off the pizzas in case you're at the restaurant or whatever. So $13.49, $13.49, free, free delivery, free shipping from Amazon, basically, the Papa John's, so that's a plus, but yeah, $12.98. So, so far this is more expensive. I just wanna double check. This had no delay. So Pizza Hut's the only one that charges to deliver your pizza on top of the tip. Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have given that guy a tip. He already got a tip. They like took it out for themselves. Ah, oh. see I should've looked at the tip. The... I learn now. We're all learning together. 1592. All right, and then this, they don't deliver. We had to walk and get it. So let's try a Little Caesars. See, I can tell by picking it up. It's very like, like, it's very, um, what's the word? High school cafeteria. Like, you look at the base of it, and it's, it's like already pre-made, it's, whereas I look at the base of this, yeah, and they look different, and they feel different too, okay. The cheapest one, here we go, Little Caesars. <laughs> Pizza Hut. Wow. Mm hmm. Okay, to me, Pizza Hut tastes better. Tastes way better. The dough is nicer. The sauce is really good. I'm surprised, honestly, I'm very surprised. Where's my, oh. I'm very surprised because sometimes I feel like you get what you pay for, right? If you're gonna buy something really cheap, you're gonna expect it to break sooner than something expensive. That makes sense, right? But I thought it's a marketing thing, it's a brand name thing. I actually was telling myself Little Caesars would be better, but no, I'm very surprised. Let's do another Domino's, I mean Papa John's. Mmm. Papa John's has the best dough. Or maybe it's undercooked. I don't know, it's very chewy. I mean, it looks cooked to me. Very fluffy. Mmm. There goes the plane. Okay, now, hold on, there's more. We are gonna compare the crusts. I'm back home, shoo be doo I'm home, hey, I'm back home, it's time for crust. You guys, I had to change the camera battery, but it's time to compare crusts. I know this is a lot of your guys' favorite part, and I'm already getting full, so this is crazy. So, this is some crust. First, we're gonna try the Domino's Pizza Crust. I'm forgetting which is which. It's chewy, it's delicious. Tastes like crust. Let me try harder. <laughs> mm. Okay, I already know, oh God, look at this crust. The cheap pizza, look at the crust. It's like hard. So when you look at the look at these crusts, they're very spongy, very kind of like dipping my finger in there, they're full of like garlic and butter or egg or something. This is just like they just stop. They didn't even make a crust. They just kind of stop. So Mwah. <laughs> oh, that was so gross. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I could only eat this with dip, which I have. No, Little Caesars, you can't eat the crust, so you lose some money, some worth there. I mean, it's already the cheapest one, but 
You're also probably going to want to eat less. Now let's try the Papa John's. Okay, this crust is very flowery. It tastes like flour. I don't know if you can see, but there's actual flour still left on it. The back of the pizza is white. The back of the pizza is white, you guys. It's like eating flour. Doughy, spongy flour. So, so far, my favorite crust was Domino's, which had like some garlic, some spice, and butter and oil. It had something to it. Let's try the Pizza Hut. Mmm, okay. As soon as that hit my lips, I could taste the cilantro. Mmm. There's other people here. This is my favorite crust. Let me, let's do the second, the runner up, just to make sure. Ooh. Now I'm going to eat more pizza too. See, this looks, oh, that's strange. So this side of the pizza, the, the crust is very brown, golden, crisp, spongy. Whereas over here, there's flour at the bottom. Look at the difference. One's darker than the other. So. Oh no, I take that back. That's more flavorful. Domino's. Mm. Let's try the opposite side of this pizza. This is an expensive challenge. Taste test. Oops. Because I have to bite into different parts. Wow, now this one looks undercooked. Look at the difference. Oh, so as a viewer, <laughs> ow, as a viewer, which one are you kind of eyeballing? You can't even see the little pizza scissors. And I think most of you would not choose that. But. No, no, Pizza Hut still has really It's a tie between Pizza Hut and Domino's. Domino's might be a little saltier, at least that side of it. Let's do one more side of the flour. Here's the thing. This pizza in general, Papa John's, was very, like I said, for my first bite, doughy. Even the crust is just like gummy. So if you like that texture, I recommend Papa John's because none of the other pizzas are like that. I mean, they're still soft, of course. Little Caesars uh, high school pizza is kind of the furthest thing from that in terms of doughy. I mean, it's still good. If you're on a budget, it's pizza and it's really nice. Mmm. I honestly don't know what my favorite would be. However, just because they give me garlic sauce and a hot pepper, which I never eat because I don't like hot stuff. <laughs> Should I have a bite for you? I don't think so. That will not be funny. I just, just because of this garlic sauce. Mm. The garlic sauce alone is a reason to go to Papa John's every time. My least favorite was Little Caesars. I'm so sad because I really thought I could introduce you guys to something I'd never heard of. I'd never seen or heard of a Little Caesars until I met Orlin. And it's, the, it's a pizza shop. You know, I don't know if it's na national, but I don't know. It's not bad. It's just compared to the others, it's my least favorite, honestly. I just love this garlic sauce. This is a mukbang, so I'm gonna keep eating this garlic, <gasps> garlic dip. Oh, it's like you know the movie theater butter. It's like liquid goodness that you put on your popcorn. Excuse me, your popcorn at the movie theater. Okay, it's like that same kind of idea, but with lots of garlic. Imagine that and you dip your whole pizza in your crust. I'm really happy with this pizza. 
I'm really happy with this pizza. So the most expensive I think was Pizza Hut. Now the pizza is good. Oh, and I feel like I'm repeating myself, but this is a lesson. I'm like a teacher, and you have to repeat yourself so you do well on the quiz. Pizza Hut has that really nice sauce. The flavor of Pizza Hut, if I had to close my eyes, it would be very hard to tell the difference between Papa John's and Domino's. But Pizza Hut, I can close my eyes and just automatically my brains, my taste buds, they're, they're communicating, and they know that flavor. But the $3.50 delivery fee, the fact that it took the longest to make, and they gave me fuss over the phone, and it's one of the more pricier pizzas, I would go for Papa John's or Domino's. Let's have another bite of Domino's, see how this is doing. This is starting to get room temperature. You know, a lot of people like cold pizza though. Yeah, the sauce is blander. Mmm. So overall, Nikocado Avocado picks Papa John's. I'm really surprised. I thought I would pick Pizza Hut or Domino's or, like I said, Little Caesars I was rooting for, but <clears throat> this pizza is so gooey, so chewy. Mmm. It's a good value. You get your sauce. Oh! Mmm. That sauce changes the whole pizza. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay, so Nikocado Avocado. I'm talking in third person. I don't know why, because I am. Papa John's. I pick you. And know it's really sad. Where I live, there's no Papa John's. The guys, I live in South America. <clears throat> the only thing, I, I don't get Pizza Hut. I don't get Little Caesars. I don't even get... Mellow mushroom, that's another thing that you don't really hear of. But I do get Domino's, Domino's is what I get. And depending on the Domino's that we go to, there's two in the city, one's on opposite ends. Excuse me, they make their pizza totally different. Sometimes they put the pepperoni under the cheese. Sometimes they put it on top. <gasps> Excuse me, I have the hiccups. But I am so happy with this Papa John's pizza. Chewy, gooey. I just want to take that Pizza Hut sauce and put it onto this pizza. And then it would be perfect. Okay, one more bite of this. I, I've probably eaten a whole pizza by now. I, well, with all the bites. I don't know. Do you know? Yeah, the Pizza Hut sauce is good. But I love the way this was made. The dough, I, maybe they put more yeast in the dough. The dough is very risen. You guys, I'm getting full. I'm also very thirsty. I could drink for you, but I don't know. I'm gonna do it off camera because that's not fun. Although, I should, I'm thinking about doing a water mukbang one day. I drink so much water in my life. You guys don't even know off camera. I drink like a good three liters a day of water. Sometimes. How many, I was about to say a gallon, but I think that's already three liters, I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my versus versus versus. And let me know in the comments, like do you agree with me about the Pizza Hut sauce? Do you, have you had really fluffy, gooey, chewy Papa John's pizza? And isn't that sauce just make your eyes roll back? Domino's, ah, I'm sorry. Like the only thing that comes to mind is that the sauce was blander. The texture was great, but it was missing like a Something was very, like, dull. And Little Caesars, um... Uh, one more bite of you. Yeah. <clears throat> so you guys, if you're new to my channel, please... Oh, I didn't even say something. Good job, nice try. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought that. No, it was good, it was, I don't know. I just have the king in front. Oh my gosh. And remember when I first opened up the boxes and the first thing that I said was, 
this has a white box. My eyes direct go directly to it. I see fresh, I see clean, I see professional ism. Because the box is white. <clears throat> it's a mind trick. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're, new to my, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing right now because I'm here every single day. Click that subscribe button on this side and click the like button on this side unless YouTube changes the buttons in the future and then you're like, you're very wrong right now. But no, seriously, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I hope that you get Papa John's pizza in your lifetime and get this garlic butter sauce and I will see you tomorrow for another regular mukbang. I post every single day at 12 p.m. Los Angeles time. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Snapchat and all those cool things if you want, but you don't have to. I just appreciate you being here at the end of the day. So you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.